Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Today we're going to look at a existing application where the consumer called us up in reference to um, the performance of their heaters as well as some concerns they have. So we came out to the site and a couple of things that we noticed right off the bat is number one, um, we had some discoloration above the uh, heater and it was caused for one of two reasons or both reasons rather but uh, number one the clearance wasn't met here as well as um, this space in the ceiling here is capturing all the exhaust gases so you have extremely superheated gases um, collecting above this heater and there's another one in its uh, opposite space um, on the other side here the other issue that they had was um, the heaters back here uh, wasn't really performing the way they were hoping and um, the one thing that we saw uh, with regards to that is the fact that there's some drape material back here and the clearance to that draping material um, isn't adequate so that's a uh, fire hazard back there um, as well as just the fact that the ray wasn't hot enough for them um, here. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, their patio. As you can see here, um, we just have a straightforward um, two different level patio here. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of talk about some of the stuff that they had that we didn't like. And I want to point out number one, the first uh, thing that really shocked me was this door opened. And if it was left open, it could be placed right underneath the uh, uh, heater and that could be a uh, tremendous fire hazard um, and the same thing with the unit over here if one of these doors were was to be open then uh, again that's a, a big a big uh, issue there um, also I'll put a little link to a previous video we did in reference to exhaust gases and how they collect up here so you might want to take a look at that as well so that was that issue there and then over here um, you can see that uh, Although the heaters weren't that bad, in fact, if I put the ray on here, you'll see that the coverage appears to be a pretty good coverage of the space. Um, we had that draping material back here that was a real concern when I saw it. So that was, um, that was the concern, but the reality is, though, that this heater being placed on this side, the right side of the uh, patio, um, you got an intense amount of heat or really the correct amount of heat over here but over here is the furthest throw it could be and if you're sitting you know down in a in a recliner or something of that nature you're getting very little appreciated heat on this side of the patio so there's another thing we can do to um, take that issue out of the uh, equation there um, and so I want to throw in their lighting system they have a lighting system and this this is partly why they chose to put the heaters where they where they did but um, I'm going to see if we can just work around that so what I'll do first is turn the uh, existing heaters off and then I'll place some what, what I consider um, recommended uh, heaters here so let's see here whoops so what I'm going to do on this side here is simply take their existing heaters and, and just manipulate them so that they're more uh, centrally located. Um, they, I, think, I think these are about nine feet center from each other. I'm just going to quick here. Oops. And yeah, we're about 10 foot center here, which is just about perfect for this unit. Um, the other thing is where I believe we're at nine foot, um, uh, four inches off the, the finished floor here, which is another perfect um, part of the application. And, um, you know, up here you could take a piece of uh, unit strut or wooden uh, beam and just place it across the top to support these uh, heaters themselves. And for my clearances, I'm meeting clearances from this top edge of the patio to the actual beams going across here and um, another thing that we want to look at too is if I place these rays on what we want to do is we would have to manipulate the uh, the lamps here so that these lights are not physically inside of this ray and um, 
that would be the, the major concern is if we place a lamp inside of the ray this one's physically not in it but if it was in it then you'd want to move that lamp over um, to accommodate the heaters placement so but if you can see here you have a nice even um, coverage within the space you have a little bit of overlapping which is about a foot foot and a half of overlapping at that nine foot elevation height and um, that'd be perfect for this this space that they want to utilize um, looking at the uh, the covered area what I've done here is um, taken some WD 5024 um, heaters they are 39 inches long um, we have uh, six inches of clearance on the top edge of the heater we have six inches of clearance on the back side of the heater from the, the structure itself and we're not uh, placing the heater right above this doorway I believe the uh, clearance would have to be 48 uh, inches from the heater's face to um, the actual doorway and just take a look at what we have here um, and this is approximate so that's 40 52 inches so that's plenty of distance away um, from the doorway and you can see by placing two of these uh, smaller um, shorter 5000 watt unit heaters um, you'll have plenty of uh, of coverage for this entire space here um, you got a nice nice overlap in the middle and, and it goes all the way from the edge to uh, the the structure itself so they'll have a nice comfortable space there and I think this is one of their number one um, uh, elements that they want to heat up um, outside here I've got uh, several four of the 6000 watt units and um, their concern was to have some of this uh, step area, um, deck area, uh, well covered, as well as they have functions down by the pool. And as you can see with the 6,000 watt unit, we'll get plenty of coverage out here. Now, if you're sitting here and um, you had this heater on full, well, it's going to obviously be hotter here than it would be out here and it may be too hot if you have this heater turned up to full and you're sitting out here so this bite this might be too hot you can't accommodate um, both spaces at different elevations evenly because the uh, the fact of the matter is that for every foot you are away from the surface the intensities are divided by four um, on these heaters and um, so this would be if you had it at full this would be hot and this or excuse me this would be hot and this would be a cool cooler or just right temperature you'll never have the same temperatures um, but over here where the uh, the step isn't um, there um, these would be a, a nice heater for this space here but um, one thing to think about is residential uh, applications um, if you were running for these 6,000 watt units, you'd need a lot of power over 100 amps just for that portion alone, and that might be a issue for the residents. So you may have to choose, you know, to have maybe two of these units only, or possibly just changing these out to a 4,000 watt unit, and um, you may not get the total coverage you're hoping for or the intensity that you're hoping for down here, especially on cooler nights. But it'd definitely be okay up here. So, um, but with the 6,000 watt, you have that adjustability and the intensity that you're looking for. So, one thing we want to take a look at though is um, when this awning is extended like it is now, and you want to maintain your six inch clearance um, from both the top and the side wall here. Um, but when it's retracted, we have this uh, uh, material that's hanging down and when it's retracted, if that material is hanging on top of the heater, then we'd have to move this heater um, lower and to maintain clearances um, from this portion of of the uh, the awning material. So keep that in mind. Um, something to think about. And the last thing on this uh, particular job is they're asking for some heating on the side of the uh, residence. And I have a 5,000 watt unit over here as well. Um, 
and I have that placed rather high so that you got a nice broad coverage. It's a nice hot unit and small in profile, so that's why I chose that particular unit. So that is our recommendations for this uh, particular space. And if you have any questions or comments, um, feel free to give us a call or um, take a look at some of our other applications we've dealt with. And you have a great day. Thank you.